This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with a GE stovetop range that is no longer heating on the front right burner. So this is what the burner looks like. The element could be defective or it's probably just a loose connection where the element comes in contact with the socket. So again, here's the element in question. And all we're gonna do is make sure we have the power turned off, make sure we have it unplugged or the breaker turned off. We're gonna pull the burner straight out. And then we're gonna remove this drip pan too. Just wanna show you the socket that it goes into. The socket may be the trouble. It could be um, it's corroded or it could be that partially melted, but often it's just these terminals right here. And it's great to clean these with a wire brush. Another trick you can use too is just to just very slightly bend them either outward or inward. It's pretty easy to bend them just using your fingers. I usually bend it slightly outward only by about a sixteenth of an inch. What happens then is the terminal makes better contact with the socket. So inside the socket there's two things that it plugs into. So we plug this one back in. We have a nice secure connection. Now we're going to test it on the hottest part of the cycle. We turn the knob to the hottest part. We're going to test it. We don't feel any heat right away so we know something isn't working. Could be again a defective element, could be a defective socket, could even be a defective switch. The next thing we're going to look at though is the socket. So we're going to remove these dials just by lifting them straight up, just four of them. Once they're removed, we can actually hinge up the whole stovetop upper assembly. Really easy. Just grab it on this model and you can just lift it straight up. It hinges. And then we find that there's a little bracket down here that will hold this up while we're working on it. Just like when you lift up the hood on your car to work on the engine. So this just goes up and then sticks into the slot to hold it up. And now we have it about 45 degrees hinged up and we can look underneath and we can see that right here on the socket, one of those wires just wasn't, wasn't pushed in all the way. So all we're gonna do is just grab this wire and just push it in to get a better connection. And then we can test it out. We'll just put this back down Set that down, hinge it back down. We'll put our dials back on, make sure we turn on the power again, either plug it in or turn on the breaker. And then we'll test it out, see if we got better heat now. So we turned it and yeah, right away we can feel, you'll be able to notice right away you got heat. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you can subscribe so we can send you more videos. Thanks again. Bye-bye.